And they will be looking at Chelsea to have it motoring down that left side whenever possible, White Bridge. Decent ball tossed in towards Drogba. And there is the first aerial threat from the giant Ivorian. 32 goals this season. And, of course, the golden boot winner in the Premiership with his 20 in the top flight. Well, it's a good cross in from Wayne Bridge there. We know how dangerous Drogba can be. Spying there the run of Rijkic, so too there with Peter Cech. Incredible, I think he's even playing in this final after his horrendous injury. Back around October time. Peter Cech wearing that protective headgear, of course after suffering that fractured skull in a clash with Steve Hunter Rooney little cushion headed out towards Ronaldo but Ferreira his compatriot was in there first the two Portuguese together here's Didier Drogba the man from the Ivory Coast now then to Joe Cole just teasing Brown still Cole see and it was who cut it out Cole breaking played in for Drogba Cole's continued his run through the middle, so as right for it. It's Drogba! Decent effort, too. Has defenders backed off. Well, I was only just thinking to myself, we've seen nothing of Drogba from the, really, from the stars of the game, apart from one header. He's managed to pick it up there. He's got runners going on beyond, dragging the back four back towards Van der Sar. He sees the opening, hits lots of power, but not quite enough direction. But uh, again, that's what he's capable of. But now rather overcast. Drogba, in goes headset, down goes Drogba, in somewhat theatrical fashion, I think you'd have to say. <laughs> I'm sure Mr Mourinho, Mourinho didn't have... Akaleli, not renowned for his goal scoring, but he's got for it here. He's only got two during his Chelsea time. Drogba, he's got plenty more, and then right for it's can't keep it down. But beginning to impose themselves now, Chelsea, in this first half. Now Darren Fletcher. It's Drogba. And Lampard looking for Hetze. But SCM was there. And it's stopped away then by right Phillips. Only Drogba right up top. But now in possession with Cole streaking up to join him. Lampard as well. Still Drogba. British uh, remonstrating there. Quiet defenders. And there will be some concern among Lampard. Good ball too. Here is Sean Wright Phillips. Threaded on for Drogba. Didn't get Drogba. Might have a go from here. He has. Oh, nearly sneaked in too. I'm not sure if Dan Nassar had that covered, did he? Well, that may have hit the outside of the post there. I mean, he really did clout that. It's gone round the outside there. I'm not sure if that had been inside the post that actually Van der Sar would have saved it. He's across there, but he's actually inside the net when he's trying to get to the ball. So a really close call. I would have thought Van der Sar would be disappointed. Maybe in his wall, the ball is Played mainly down that left hand side, he's come in field sometimes, but he really has worked hard and had an influence. Such a strong run by Drogba, and oh, there was a clash then inside the box. And referee Bennett says no penalty, but did he follow through that Drogba? I tell you what, they had their work cut out then, Ray, just containing the threat of Drogba. Well, as we've said before, he's so, so strong when he gets on a run there. You know, he, he's probably you know, the strongest centre forward in the country. When, when he gets on this run, he's going to take some stopping. And, and Vinic gets across him there and then goes through the... Drogba is frustrated and goes through the back of Vinic and catches him on his ankle. Um, you see it here, look, just yeah. kicks through the back as he's falling and catches Vinic at the back of his, of his calf and uh, just the frustration of being blocked off. But he just brushed Rio Ferdinand aside for the sheer force of his run. No love lost there between Ferdinand and Drogba.
Well, he can complain all he likes. Steve Bennett is not going to concur with his opinion. It's going to be a free kick to Manchester United. Trying to squeeze it on for Rooney. Terry is there, as ever, for Chelsea. Drogba, using his body strength to excellent effect. Lampard felt he was being held back, but I think he was too, by Vidic. Yeah, quite definitely, once Drogba got turned, Lampard was on his way. I think he might have got the other side of Vidic there, but certainly he was held back, and uh, referee Bennett again. Here we can see it, you can see, look, he's definitely got hold of him, stopping his, his flow of run, so say, yeah. um, it wouldn't have counted. But well, how did he manage to put it in there? That was Robin. Well, sight netting then from Drogba. Whips it into the crowd, into the Manchester United fans. Back behind that goal, he says, sorry. A bit late now. Sheer frustration. Yeah, that's the frustration of the FA Cup. He's not been in the game as much as he'd like to have been. He gets a half a chance here. It is only a half a chance. Can't direct it. And box straight into the crowd. Smith. Kalu. Then Mikel, Drogba, Drogba, yes! Goal for Chelsea, Didier Drogba! Five minutes from time, his first goal against Manchester United. Is it going to be the winner? It's a priceless, priceless strike from the man who has been so outstanding all season with his finishing. And he's done it again. Well, it was a lovely one too there. Knocked back into his, his, his face there. And it really was a delightful touch. Van der Sar couldn't possibly get to it. It was a lovely touch over the top. Ferdinand couldn't get back either. And it's a fabulous finish. It really is a fabulous finish. How many times this year have we seen Chelsea win in the dying minutes of either 90 minutes or extra time? Um, this Lush. one in the 116th minute. Didier Drogba milking the applause of the Chelsea fans as he's been able to do throughout the past few months. Goal number 33 for him like, among the United fans. But away to my left, sheer jubilation now for the fans at Chelsea. Lampard linking with Drogba. And he's deadly, absolutely deadly. The African player of the year, Didier Drogba. Out comes Van der Sar. But Callum... I think that's going to be it. It is it. And it's Chelsea in blue heaven. As Mourinho's masters deny Manchester United the double, Didier Drogba with the winning goal of the 116th minute they have done it again you just cannot write this team off the last winners of the fa cup at the old webley are now seven years on the first winners of the new one to the absolute delight of roman abramovich their illustrious owner they left it late but it doesn't matter now Chelsea won, Manchester United.